holiness teaching in these last and evil days. All sin is not the same. That's why God calls some sins abomination. The scriptures say in 1 John 5, 17, all unrighteousness is sin. It is written in James 4, 17. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. But the tendency of these natural brute beasts today that are past filling is for them to turn themselves over to lasciviousness and other abominations and say, my sin is no different from anybody else's sin. So now, all sin is marginalized and folks even have empathy for people that are an abomination to God. So many teachers and preachers will not warn them. Because the abominable will say, my abomination is no different from you. Not doing right and driving 90 when the speed limit is 70. And too many overseers and folks that say they know God fall for this trick of the devil and get in the pulpits and Sunday school classes around the world and say, we're all just sinners. Hold on, Slim Shady. Don't testify for Brother Carl Bartharno. Let me give my own testify. Because Jesus Christ's sheep follow him. And Jesus Christ knows them. And we, as his disciples, continue in his word, not in sin. John 8, 31. And this is our testimony in Romans 6, 16 through 18. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you, being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Brother Carl Bartholomew, like the chosen few others, are servants of Jesus Christ. Brother Carl ain't in the sin business no more. Brother Carl Bartholomew is about my father's business of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Romans 14, 17. I ain't got time to judge nobody. Be ready. I'm like my Lord and Master, Jesus Christ. Condemning folks is a waste of time because folks are already condemned with their evil works and abominations that they do against God. John 319. Be ready is the message. Stay ready so your name is not blotted out of the book of life. It's the message to the born again. God hates abominations. Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. Those that defile, Mark 7, 20 through 22, and he said, that which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man. For from within, out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. 
All these evil things come from within and defile the man. Those that worketh abomination. Leviticus 18.22 Men lie with mankind as with womankind. Deuteronomy 22.5 Women wearing what pertains to a man. Bridges is pants. Exodus 28.42.43 Men wearing a woman's garment. Shorten skirts. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Deuteronomy 7.25 Graven images. Deuteronomy 21:31. Child sacrifice. Deuteronomy 24:4. A man remarried a woman he divorced, who was also remarried. Proverbs 3:32. Perverts. Proverbs 11:1. 1. Folks who cheat people. Proverbs 12:22. Lying lips. Proverbs 15:9. Wicked ways. Proverbs 15:26. Wicked thoughts. Proverbs. 28.9, folks, prayers who turn away from hearing God's law. Proverbs 29.27, an unjust man. God even has a hate list written in Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. These six things do the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. This is when the sinners chime in and say, wait a minute, in Leviticus 11, it has all the folks that eat swine, fish without scales, like lobsters, crabs, and shellfish, and other flying animals that people eat, which were abomination too. And it was an abomination to wear garments with linen and wool in the same garment in Leviticus 19.19. These folks designed to cover their sins and be teachers neither understand what they say, nor what they affirm. 1 Timothy 1.7 In Leviticus 11, those fools were not an abomination to God, they were an abomination to you. The Lord said, eat everything moving that liveth before the law was written, Genesis 9.3, and after the law ended, with the dispensation of the grace of God. Luke 16, 16, John 1, 17. The scriptures say nothing is to be refused, for every creature is good if received with thanksgiving, because it is sanctified by the word of God with prayer. First Timothy 4, 4 and 5. And in Leviticus 19, 19, there were a group of folks that did wear Linen mingled with wool. They were the high priest. God told the people not to wear those clothes so that they would not be impersonating the high priest. That was the abomination to God. And finally, those that make a lie, lying on the word of God, teaching and preaching stuff that ain't in the word of God, Adding to it makes them liars, like the Trinity. Proverbs 30, 5 and 6. Unless folks repent of defiling, working abomination, and making a lie, they will in no wise enter into the new Jerusalem on the new earth in the new heaven. Revelation 21, 27. Unless they repent, there ain't no reason for them to even make plans to go to heaven because they ain't ready. Matthew 24, 44. Repent and believe the gospel. Amen and amen.